check myself before I wreck myself. Sleeping. <laughs> Midsummer day dream. <laughs> Thinking about Bay. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a big old movie here, but we got a movie star in the club. That guy just looked and laughed at me. <laughs> Big anchor on this lake. Oh, big ass boat. <laughs> Are you good? I'm great. This is crazy though. This whole thing. So big. Alright, let's go get some food. It's pretty though. This is a really pretty view. What a. Oh god, this hair. Trying to get some Chipotle. Sure, let's get Chipotle. Wow. History, people. This must be where they like used to drive up and stuff. Wow. Yeah, this is a, uh, I don't know what that is, but. It's intense. Yeah, it is. know that was Al Capone's place like a while ago I've been there a few times but I never knew like it was it used to be Al Capone's and then uh, one day we were talking about it and she was like oh yeah that used to be Al Capone's mansion and I'm like what in this tiny town that I live in Al Capone used to come here apparently no this was a really big like spot for him to yeah uh, to hide to hide out to hide and also like a really big trade room like it was near the city yeah. but not quite at the city so it was a really good spot for him to like and it makes sense like because middle point yeah it makes sense because our town is the last stop on the train station to chicago so it makes sense you know um apparently there are secret passageways and tunnels out and into the i don't station. doubt that because i heard about things like that during like Apparently there are like the mafia. hallways that lead to nothing, staircases that lead to nowhere. Oh, I'm sure. And like secret passageways to like confuse so you could get out. Definitely. Stuff. For me, that makes perfect sense. Especially for a man like him. Definitely. A man like him. Now we're gonna go get some food after all that shooting cause she did a great job. She did a lot of work, especially here. She did a lot of work here too. That only so, took me like 20 minutes, I think. Yeah, I think it only took you like 20, 30 minutes, which is pretty dope, so. Oh, it was a little chilly, but you know, worth it. We'll see you guys at Chipotle. And um, I guess it's the outfit I'm wearing to go to Chipotle. <laughs> All right, Bruce, we'll see you there, maybe. <laughs> Put your head on. Chipotle! I feel like it's just a YouTuber thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, every fucking YouTuber is up at that Chipotle. Really? Yeah, dude. They get like. I feel like the only person I watch that gets food is Trisha Paytas or Shane Dawson, so. That's true. So I'm not too but sure. On I'm that. pretty sure they get Chipotle for free. Some of them, like a lot of influencers, get their Chipotle for free. 
Dude, I want free Chipotle. All right. I buckled her up because she is my right. precious cargo. But um, she asked for cups for water, and I never get just water. So we got lemonade. Oh, I want to coke really bad. For but free. They was there. They was there. They were watching. There was a lot of... There was uh, no one in there, so... Yeah, there was literally no one in there, but I guess it is 3 o'clock on a Thursday, so it makes sense. And this nose highlight is fucking snatched, bitch. Um, anyway, we're gonna go home. We're gonna enjoy this Chipotle. I'm gonna relax. Probably edit this all later today. And, uh, yeah. So, we had a great day! And we're hoping you having a great day, too! And we'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye. In the sun.